Elke, tell us what's going on in Frankfurt. I'm happy to see you in Frankfurt. <laughs> uh, <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> it's nice well, that you come back. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited actually. I'm excited to come back. And, uh, and you know, it's interesting because uh, I was talking to uh, Shishi yesterday. Uh -huh. um, and I was saying like, uh, this, this is um, a strange uh, tr um, tour for me because normally I don't go on a tour at this time of the year. And uh, so, and I'm going to different regions, you know, from Norway, Sweden, mm -hmm. and then coming to, going to Poland and Germany and France, which it's lower elevation. It's not as high, close to the Arctic and then going back to Ore. So it's like I was saying, I, I don't know uh, what, you know, I have, to, I have to really be thoughtful of what, what kind of clothing I'm taking with me because <laughs> it's going to be cold, hot, cold, hot. Yeah. So, uh, but it's also very exciting about figuring everything out and getting to see everyone and coming back at this time of the year, um, starting the tour on almost end of April, which I've never done it before. So it's, it's exciting. Like for me in Zedona. <laughs> How was that? I say like for me in, in Zedona, a great yeah. experience and yeah. A, yeah, amazing exactly. time. Exactly, exactly. And it's so good to do these things. It is, it's always, um, this has been my experience, is constantly getting challenged with a new situation and not, you know, challenge in a bad way, but you just have to uh, come out of your comfort zone and just be flexible. And, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, also, especially with this year is that um, there's so many different um, things I'm doing. You know, I'm doing the healing training program that I love to do. And now I'm incorporating a lot of satsangs, a lot of uh, spiritual talks, and talking about 5D quantum awareness and operating from that place. And uh, as well as having my workshops about uh, returning to love, which is very connected to the 5D quantum awareness. So, uh, so it's, it's exciting because there's different themes of what I'm talking about and the areas I'm referring to, as well as the healing training program. So uh, it makes it interesting uh, mm -hmm. when I think about it. So it excites me. And I think it was a, a two years ago when I, um, well, originally when I started to teach the 5D quantum healing training programs, um, after one year that I was teaching it, I um, added the word awareness to it. So I changed it from fifth dimensional quantum healing to fifth dimensional quantum healing and awareness. And uh, because what part is what I realized that the, um, the healing modality that I teach, it could be extremely more effective and and helpful and work for both parties if the awareness is always also is brought into it as and what i mean by the awareness is the if we learn uh we're not just focusing on learn learning techniques of how i can do healing work or or uh whether I'm doing shamanic healing, psychic surgery, if it's hands-on healing, or it's, it's uh, energy healing, uh, energy work, or I'm using symbols. And there's a lot of wonderful different healing modalities out there um, that they work, and, and they're wonderful in, within their own respect of area and field. So, uh, but what I realized that you're, the the work it will be extremely enhanced and more valuable if 
we also learn the way of life, the way of being, and we can incorporate that. Now, what I mean by that was, as you all, most of you who've been with me, um, you, you know that I spend a lot of time in all of my programs, uh, especially on a healing training program, we spend a lot of time into operating from a quiet place, operating from a place of silence, of being quiet, and accessing this place of love, of coming to the self-love. And, and getting out of our heads, and regardless of what kind of technique we're using, getting out of the head, and coming into place of letting love dictates the pace and recognizing that really truly it's love that heals things it's not the modern technology it's not the medicine it's not the surgery all of those things they're valid and they got their own place but love heals love is the ultimate healer in our lives and without love life is not really worth living and and i was i was fortunate to experience I, it's something of course i know and i teach but every once in a while it's nice to get um reminded like a few days ago uh, my beloved uh, friend uh, office manager uh shishi had experienced her her father had some health issues and challenges and was taken to the hospital and we were all concerned about his well-being and whether he was going to make it or not and uh shishi and i were sending healing energy and uh were holding the space for him and he went through a very quick turnaround and I think the fact that he went through this quick turnaround and he healed so quickly, it was like the love that he received from his family. Of course, I mean, I'm on the side, I'm far away, and uh, I don't count myself into this equation. But what I really saw is the love that uh, Shishi's family, uh, the sisters and uh, um, mom and and all the close people were sending to his dad. And his dad just miraculously healed um, at age, I think, 84 or 85. And uh, from a very serious thing that, and a lot of times it can kill other people. But he healed up so quickly. And uh, I was surprised, like two, three days after that, he was in a critical uh, condition in a hospital. The next thing when uh, I found out when I talked to Shishi, she said, oh yeah, he's driving, going to some, some uh, uh, doing some work and he's cracking some jokes and uh, he's, he's good. So to me, it indicates that really love is what heals and changes our lives and everybody else's. And that is our true power. And that's one of the reasons that I really emphasize on this part in, in uh, our healing training program and every, any other workshop, any, anything that I teach, I point out to, to this uh, element, to this really truth of our lives, that, which is available to us, which is the love that is here and we all have access to it 